Hello, Chris Pickard speaking from the Brookmans Park Clinic, which is tucked between Hatfield and Potter's Bar in Hertfordshire. Today's subject is headaches. Headaches and migraines, because they are in some ways different, but pretty much similar in the fact that they both happen in the head, cause a lot of pain and discomfort and problems, and they can have very common causes. So the main groups of headaches are migraines, of course, is one, and then there's tension headaches, which usually appear in a band around the head. There's cervical tension headaches or suboccipital headaches, which are headaches at the back here, which people readily associate with the neck. There are cluster headaches, which are really sharp and painful and usually appear around the temples, and they last for days, weeks or months, sort of off and on and then they go away for a long time and then they come back and they can be horrendously painful and you can have headaches coming from jaw tension and then you get headaches on the top often from toxins and sometimes preferred even from the stomach or the liver but the main headaches are tension headaches suboccipital headaches and migraines now a lot of tension headaches and cervical headaches actually come from as the name suggests cervical the neck and in, according to some studies, about 80 or 90 percent of headaches are actually all caused from the neck. A lot of migraines are actually secondary to neck problems as well. So if you have recurrent headaches, yes, by all means, I mean, if you insist on taking a painkiller, which could be toxic for your liver or your kidneys, um, and you keep on taking them, it will be toxic to your kidney, kidney and your liver. So what you want to do is you really want to find out the cause of the problem so they stop coming back and most of the time it's the neck and it can be because of a problem that has happened in the neck because of a past injury, a whiplash injury, could have been a fall off a bike or a horse or off a tree or off a wall when you were a kid. It could be when you were learning to walk or crawl that the problems first started in the neck. Uh, very often though it can be postural and the way you sit, stand or the way you're at work it continually builds up so you'll need postural exercises to help with this. It can be the way your jaw's biting, it can be secondary to the, your bite and your dentition. Sometimes a dentist will look at that, but also chiropractors do a lot of work with relaxing jaw tension, jaw muscles, showing you different ways to exercise your jaw so that it relieves and relaxes. So the first port of call, I would say, should be a chiropractor or an osteopath if you have recurrent headaches because they are trained to spot more serious causes, but they are also, more importantly, trained to spot things that are actually curable. Now, when you get into the realms of migraines, they can be a lot more complicated and often end up looking at diet, nutrition, a lot of other stuff. Allergies as well is a big one. So other common causes of headaches can be such things as you're just not drinking enough water, so make sure you're hydrated. Uh, magnesium deficiency, again, is common, especially because of the amount of stress people are under these days. B vitamin deficiencies can cause headaches of types as well. But what I want to do today is I want to show you a really simple thing that can help with your headache or your migraine if you have one right now. Okay, so first thing, drink some water. Drink some water. Second thing, Hopefully you own a towel at home. So what you want to do is roll it up nice and thickly. Okay, you can get a, a bigger towel if you want. And what you do is you place it in the curve of your neck. Okay, and you lie down on your back. Now you may find that this is too thick and you may want to unroll it a little bit. And you can place, place it a little bit further down or you can place it a bit higher up. Just lie down on your back. Maybe you want to put a, a pillow or some cushions underneath your knees as well. So you're lying on your back and just let it relax. Um, sometimes you may find that having a gentle heating pad on the front here will help relax the muscles at the front of the neck, which allows this to relax even more quickly. And then sometimes using your thumbs to dig into some of the muscles around the back, back of the neck, into the skull, down through here. Being careful not to press too much on the carotid arteries, so if you're not at all clear of where the carotid arteries are, just stay clear of the front and the side of the neck. 
sometimes the chest, sometimes these muscles up in here can refer a lot of pain into the head as well. And also, now be really careful with this, is points around just underneath your eyebrows and around underneath your eyes, just finding some tender points and just gently, gently pressing. And it may be painful, don't press too hard, but just enough to get a little bit of pain and wait for that to ease and relax and just do a few different points, about 30 seconds each. Same with these ones back here. Um, and then just lie and relax uh, for 10 to 20 minutes. Now that should, if it's all from tension in the muscles, it should make you feel a lot better very easily. Um, but again, if this is a recurrent problem, you should really seek professional help. Now, I hope that's helped. Um, if not, please leave a comment below um, and either like or dislike the video, whichever, um, whether you think it's helped or whether you think it's uh, a load of rubbish. Either way, it would be great to know. If you did like everything though, then please subscribe to my channel. There'll be an icon somewhere around here or over here um, on the video. Just click on that. Please subscribe and comment and share if you liked us. Okay, bye for now.